Alright, so what we're going to do now is learn how to make dashi, which is a stock made from katsobushi flakes and kombu. It's definitely a foundation for Japanese cuisine and can be used for many kinds of dishes. First we're going to go into making it from scratch and then I'll go into making it the easy way using dashi packs. Are you ready? Let's go! We have the kombu here, we're going to do 10 grams of kombu and then also 10 grams of katsobushi, which we're going to shave um, using the kazuriki right here. So there's a little box. Um, there's a blade on top and the uh, shavings go right through. I have some here already. First thing that we need to do when we're making dashi is to soak the kombu. So I have some here, I'm going to go ahead and weigh it out. So we're going to do about 10 grams. Depending on the type of kombu that you're using, it might be thicker or thinner. And uh, you need to let this soak for about uh, 30 minutes at least. Um, we're going to use one liter of water, which I have ready to go right here, and then I have a saucepan. So I'll put the kombu in first. And then you just let it sit there for at least 30 minutes. Okay, so now we're just going to heat up the water until it's just, just about to boil, and then we're going to take out the kombu, put it in a dish, and then we'll add the katsobushi. So I have this on medium heat and you want to make sure to take out the kombu just as it's starting to uh, boil. You can see that there's little tiny bubbles that are forming here. So once they start to pick up, then that's when you take out the kombu and you turn off the heat. So you can see there's tiny little bubbles coming off of the kombu. So it's about ready to be taken out. And then you're going to turn back on the heat now and bring it just up to a boil. And once it starts to boil, you're gonna add the katsobushi and then turn off the heat again. So at this point, it doesn't matter. You can use high heat. Since you took out the kombu, nothing is gonna get extracted. Okay, so you can see that the water, the kombu broth is just starting to boil. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna add the katsobushi. And once you add it, just let it sit there for about um, three to six minutes. I usually do it for about five minutes and then um, you can strain it out. The important thing here is not to touch it since it'll gradually release its own flavors. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. We're gonna strain out the katsobushi in this paper towel lined strainer. When you're straining this, you don't want to push it out or squeeze out any of the remaining juice. And there's a couple reasons for this. One is we're going to make a second batch of broth from the same ingredients. And then also we don't want to force out any bitter components from the katsuobushi. This is our dashi stock. You can see it's very clear. Which is what we want. If you do get a cloudy broth, you might have boiled it on accident. Or you might have pressed on the katsuobushi to push out sediment. So now we can go ahead and make niban dashi. This is ichiban dashi. And the way that we do that is we just use this left, left, leftover katsobushi, put it back into the pot. We're going to use half as much liquid as we did the first time. We're going to put the kombu back in and then it's optional. You can put in additional katsobushi. It's called oi katsu to make the uh, niban dashi. So we're going to add 500 mils of water to the pot that we just used. We're going to turn the heat back on, bring it to a boil and add back the kombu that we used as well. If you do want to add oi katsuo, you can add roughly 5 grams or half the amount that you initially used. Once the broth starts to boil, you're going to turn down the heat to low and let it sit for about 5 minutes. Once it's ready, you're going to filter it out again with a strainer and a paper towel or if you have a nut milk bag, anything that can f uh, filter out the fines from the katsuobushi will work. So now that you have niban dashi, you can use this to make miso soup or any kind of a stew, anything that has a strong flavor, and the niban dashi will give it a very nice umami flavor. All right, so I have about uh, one liter of water boiling right now. This is the uh, water that we're gonna be using to make this dashi from these dashi packs. It's one of the easiest ways that you can make dashi. All you have to do is boil some water and then you add a pack or two in, let it steep for a couple minutes, take out the packs and you have your dashi. 
All right, so it's been about a minute and a half, so I'm gonna turn off the heat and just let it finish um, soaking a little bit more, and then I'll take out the uh, dashi packs in a few seconds. So you can see that the color of the water changed. It's nice. It's a nice uh, gold color now. So now you have uh, dashi.